call me a Hey, what up you guys? It's Barcode Batty and I'm back with another awesome GTA 5 glitch tutorial. This is the Frozen Money glitch and yes, it's back you guys. So requirements for this glitch, what you're going to need is you're going to need some starting capital. You're also going to need a garage. Now, as in capital, as you can see, my money isn't that much. Now, it's not that much, but I can still do something with this. So what I'm going to basically do is what you really want is you want enough money to buy a Deluxo so you can dupe Deluxos. But anyways, I don't have enough money for a Deluxo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy a car that's worth like $700,000. Okay, and so this is going to work. So yeah, it does cost money to get money, but it's totally worth it in the end. And I'll show you exactly why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Legendary and find a vehicle that's cheap enough for me to afford, but also enough that I'm going to sell it and make some money back. So I'm going to go with the Zentorno. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, purchase it. You're going to pick the garage you want it to go into. And as soon as you see that it says, says it's also going to take your money away. But what you want to do is disconnect and then reconnect your internet as quickly as you can. Now as soon as you do that, you'll get this alert here. Go ahead and accept that. And then it's going to throw you into story mode. Now from story mode, all you want to do is hit your interaction button and go down to director mode and you want to load into director mode. Once you're at the trailer, you want to click on actors and then click on animals and you want to have either a seagull, a hawk or a bird that can fly. You don't want to have a chicken. So make sure you do get a bird down in the link below or down in the description below. You'll see that I have a link to a video where you can get yourself a hawk or a seagull or a bird or whatever so go ahead and check that out if you haven't gotten one already so you click on actors and then click on your bird now once you load in as your bird what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your interaction menu again and you want to go down to location and you want to change it over to Mount Gordo and then go ahead and press X. Now you don't have to use my exact locations that I use here, but here's an example of what you basically want to do, but you don't have to use my location like I said. So once you're at Mount Gordo, this basically refreshes your bird. Now what you want to do is go ahead and press start, go into the map and go to anywhere where you think that this would be a good idea. I always go over here to this highway because this highway is always the busiest, has the biggest trucks and makes it easier to hit the glitch every single time that I do it. So I'm going to put my waypoint right here to the side of this road so I'm not in the road getting hit. Then I'm going to go to location and click on waypoint. Now that's going to transport, transport, trans, bleh. it's going to take me there. Now what I want to do is just go ahead and kill my bird. So then it takes me back to the casting trailer. I'm just going to simply press X on my bird again. This is just refreshing my bird again for this glitch. So I'm going to go right back. It's going to take me right back to my waypoint. I'm going to fly up into the air by pressing X. And then I'm just going to glide. I don't have to press any buttons here. I'm just gliding. I'm going to open up my interaction menu and I'm going to hover over exit director mode. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly really, really low, you guys, and I'm going to hit that grill of the truck. Right before I hit it, though, I'm going to press X, and then I'm going to press X again. And then you're going to hear the wasted sound. As long as you get the wasted sign and the sound, then you know you hit this part correctly. Now, once you hit that, you're going to be on an infinite black loading screen, but after a couple seconds, what you're going to want to do is you want to tap your interaction button. Now, you're not going to be able to see your menu, but you're going to hear it. Then you just want to hit that interaction button. You want to go up once and then press X and then accept the alert. Then it's going to take you back to the casting trailer. Now, from the interaction menu, you just want to go down to exit to story mode. Now, once you exit the story mode, as long as you load in as your bird, you know you've done everything correctly this far and it works. So you want to go ahead and press start, go to online and enter a close friend session. Now, once you load into the lobby, what you want to do is interact with that vehicle that you purchased. Now, I'm just going to sell mine because I'm trying to get my money up to deluxo status so I can buy deluxos rather than buying cars. So I'm just going to simply request that Zentorno that I just bought. Because I'm still, and because you're going to see that I still have my money. So it's like I never spent my money before. That's basically what this glitch is doing. It's basically you buying a car, but not ever spending your money. But you get the car, and then you can sell the car, and then get your money back 
again, if that makes sense. But anyway, so once I load in, all I'm going to do is go right up to my dude and I'm going to request that Zentorno that I bought and I'm going to drive it over to Los Santos Customs and I'm going to sell it for whatever money it's going to give me. It's going to give me a little bit more money to work with, so I'm going to buy a more expensive car this time because I'm going to show you guys this glitch one more time so you make sure that you do get it correctly. Because this glitch is a rinse and repeat and it is solo. So now I got I got a million dollars that I'm working with now. So I'm going to go right back into legendary. I'm going to go to two person or two door vehicles. I'm going to hit, you know, sort by price and I'm going to find me a car that's worth a million dollars. I'm going to go ahead and purchase that vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with the Cypher. That's the car that I'm going to go with because it's worth 1.1 million or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. I'm going to pick the color. I'm going to pick buy and I'm going to choose the garage that it's going to go into. Once I see it says sold, I'm going to disconnect and then reconnect my internet. On this alert, I'm going to accept it and it's going to throw me into story mode. Now, once I'm in story mode, you guys, we're going to do exactly what we already did. So we're just going to repeat the steps from the previous, um, from doing this internal one. So we're going to open up our interaction menu and we're going to go down to exit to director mode. Once we're at the casting trailer, we're going to go ahead and press X on actors, press X on animals, and we're going to press X on our bird and load in to GTA. And then once we're on the map, we're going to go ahead and go to location. We're going to select Mount Gordo again. So again, once I'm at Mount Gordo, what I'm going to do is press the pause button and I'm going to go back over to my freeway where I like to go ahead and slide. Again, you guys can choose wherever on the map that you want, but I like this location best. So I'm going to press X. I'm going to open up my interaction menu, go down to location and select waypoint. Now, once my bird is sitting on the side of the freeway, what I'm going to do is go ahead and kill my bird. And it's going to send me back to the casting trailer. And I'm just going to click X on my bird again. And it's going to load me right back to where I was. Alright, so now it's go time, you guys. What we're going to do, we're going to tap X a couple times. So we're soaring. We're going to open up an interaction menu. We're going to hover over exit or quit director mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line ourselves up with the traffic. We're going to find ourselves the best, biggest truck we can. And then we're going to fly as low as possible, you guys. You want to be as low as possible. And you want to hit that front of the grill. But right before you hit the grill, you want to press X. Sit on the director or exit director mode screen for a second and then press X again. So X, wait a second, press X again. And then you should hear the wasted sound. Get the wasted sign. And we know we did this part correctly so far. Now again, we're going to be on that infinite black loading screen. So what we're going to do is after a couple of seconds, we're going to hit the interaction button. We won't see it, but we'll hear it pop open. We'll press up on the D-pad one time and then press X. And then you'll get the alert. Are you sure you want to leave director mode? And you want to press X to confirm. Throwing us back to the casting trailer. Now, once we're back here, what we're going to do is on the interaction menu, we're just going to go down to exit to story mode. Now, as long as you load in as the bird, as you see we do here, we know we've done the glitch correctly this far. So we're going to go ahead and press start, go to online, and enter a friends only lobby. Now, once we load in, we're going to go ahead and... Now, you always want to make sure, because if you're not selling the cars and you're just stacking them, you want to make sure that you interact with every single vehicle, you guys. Don't forget that. That's really freaking important, because otherwise they will just disappear, and it'll be like you never did the glitch. So make sure... That every time you spawn in, you interact with that car if you don't sell it. Make sure you move it to a different garage or, you know, go put something on it, change something on it or whatever. But you want to make sure that you do interact with that vehicle. Now, me on the other hand, I'm just going to simply go ahead and call that vehicle that I just purchased. And I'm going to drive it over to Los Santos Customs and I'm going to sell it again. Because I'm trying to get my money up so I can get that deluxe. So, y'all, I'll make it eventually. And slowly but surely, I'm making it. And you can do it, too. If you don't have the money for the deluxe, do exactly what I'm doing. Buy the vehicles that you can buy. Sell them until your money gets up there. You feel me? Anyways, you guys, this has been another awesome GTA 5 glitch tutorial by yours truly, Barco Batty. Frozen money glitch. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Until my next video, you guys, stay lit. <laughs> Alright, this is it. I'm out. Peace.
cold bad and stupid savage on the joint instead of all cold skin and chip. All shit in front of the Ain't nice, only headshot. But you don't miss, show me savage with your vantage. Flip a cup of whip. She don't miss. <laughs>